Hello everybody, my name is Matt, and welcome. So I've been playing around with Hyper-V quite a bit. However, as I've been um, changing hosts and stuff like that quite a bit, so basically I've been exporting and importing them from different machines. However, there may be an issue with the MAC addresses. So instead of um, going through each one of them, going to Network Adapter and Advanced Features, Instead of noting that down each time, I just wanted to find a bit easier way to do do this. And the best way to do this is actually using PowerShell. So in order to run this command, I'm just going to open up PowerShell ISE as admin. Just so it has... It's a lot easier and then I can save the script later on. So let's wait for that to load up. But I'm just going to... Make sure I do when it's admin now, just so it has full permissions. Oops, that's all going there. So what I'm going to type in is... I'm going to type in get-vm. So I'm just going to do vhost02, just because I want to minimise the amount of data that's going to show up on the list, just so I can then filter it down. So for this one, uh, get-vm network adapter is just going to be the network adapter on the host, well, on the um, VM even. Now I'm just going to do pipe, select star, so it's going to do everything that is there, and I'm going to enter format and list. So as you can see, it's got all the information that is exported for the get network adapter for that particular VM. So that's the compute name, that is just only the host name, so not the virtual machine. So what we want to export though is the VM name and then the MAC address. So it's got the VM name down there and then above, a bit further, there is the MAC address. So as we don't really want them to be every single one exporting like this, we just want to filter it down. So in order to do in select star, I'm just going to copy that and do it up there just so I can easily update it. So the main ones I want to get is the MAC address and the VM name. So those are the main two things that I want. You can add more if you want, but just for this demonstration I'm just going to only select those two values. So as you can see I'm formatting it so it's got VM name at the start, so the first column and then MAC address as a second. So you can do it either way, but I'm just doing this way just so I can easily reference it. So I'm just wanting it for VH1, just so you can see it's only returning those two values. But as I want it to do all the VMs, I'm just going to remove vhost02 there. So that's all the VMs is going to run. Pipe, get VM network adapter, pipe, select VM name and MAC address and format in a list. So as I run this, you'll see that it's go into on this command and it's doing each line by line so there can be some duplicates as you can see there's a duplicates of some VM names however that is due to them having two uh, network adapters on them so I mainly do that for like internal and external just since I was expensive with that but I didn't really do much in that after that so that's all good and uh, doing it that way. However, uh, just since that, if you've got loads of VMs, it can that list can go on and on. So what the best way to do would be to export it. So what I will be doing is at the top. So I'm just going to change it from FL. I'm going to export it to a CSV file. So replace the FL with export dash CSV dash delimiter so that's just going to be the spacing so I'm going to set, I've set that to a semicolon and the path I'm going to set it to so do dash path I'm just going to do it to the C drive and I did have I only have one called VM max so I'm just going to, when I type in VMs a uh, VM Mac it will autofill so I'm just going to add a one to the end of that once it appears so I'm just going to do enter to complete it but I'm going to add the one there just so it doesn't overwrite it. So you can set it to any path you want. So you can, for instance, you can do it to C temp, 
uh, backslash and then the name of the CSV file. However, the temp folder would still need to be exi would need to exist for it to export. So now, as we run this, it's going to create the file on the C drive. But as it's running this, once it's completed, it won't do the list that is mentioned above. It just goes for the next command. So that it don't give you any errors at all. So the way to verify if it's worked correctly is by going to that location. So for instance, I'm going to open it up in Notepad++ to verify. And as you can see, it's got the type at the start the type of that what it's doing and then it's got VM name and MAC address and each of them there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that to my main host uh, not my main host, my main PC that has Office installed. So I'll show you how the best way to format it and stuff in Excel so you can easily look at it instead of in one column. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you, first of all, you want to do select all that first column, go to the data tab at the top, then click on text columns, click on delimited, select semicolon, unselect tab, click on next, and then click on finish. And then it will put it on two columns so you can see there's a VM and MAC address, well, VM name and MAC address. So the top level, that just doesn't matter, so I'm just going to move that. So that's all the MAC addresses of each of the VMs. Now for the best way to actually organise it to identify if there's any duplicates, I'm just going to do sort. Uh, so I'm just going to click one of the columns and, and click on filter and sort it A to Z, just so it's got each of them in there. And if there's any duplicates, it will just mention them there, which is a lot easier than looking for it manually. So anyway, that is the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you would like to know any more of these PowerShell commands I've won, have a look at my knowledge base on my website, which is linked down below. Anyways, thanks for watching again, and have a good day.